M0FXP, welcome back to my videos on the Aerotone D168. Big thanks to M6LSJ Co-Plug because it's restored all of my satellite and other functions in my radio. Uh, for some reason, I just couldn't get it working. He sent me a Co-Plug. I had to put my call sign DMR number in. And look, menu, as you go down, it's all there. Record and satellite, Digimonitor as well. Now, if you want to enable your satellite, you do need to add your location details. So if you look at mine, we'll go menu, down to satellite, press. And if you go down when it says location, it does want that, okay? Um, so if we go up one satellite, and then once you've got your location in, then you get all these different satellites. Okay, and then you can select one with the green button. And that's it, look how fantastic that looks. And it actually looks better in real life because that's actually green, uh, that signal bouncing up and down. So it looks better on the radio. And you can buy these radios for about 70 odd pounds now, Aerotone D168. And what I like about them is that the co-plug is virtually the same as the 878. And I just think they're very good devices and very compact. So I'm just going to show you that how to load up your satellite items uh, using the software. So let's just move the radio here. So back on the software, uh, at the top here, go to tool. Okay, obviously connect the radio via the USB, which we've done here, uh, and then uh, connect your COM port, set COM. Mine's 49, okay. Then go to tool and go right down to the bottom and go satellite data updating. So imagine this like it's mathematics, you know, all the satellites, they all, where they are can be calculated mathematically. And that's why we can get a um, you know a chart like this and upload all the all that information. And to make it easy, instead of having to upload a CSV file, you just click here. Look at this, HTTP download. It calculates all this information. Okay, all the different satellites, frequency. I, I, you can edit it if you look here on the right hand side. If you're a bit techy, you can read this and edit it and change it if you want. But I'm not going to do that. <laughs> so now all you do is go click the download. You've even got a CSV update here thing as well. Right. And then just click right to radio. Like so and click OK. And you can see the radio in the background there is doing that. So we get the information on that. Now the location wise, the easiest way to do it is to go to APRS just here on the left. So let's close this one a minute. Uh, APRS. Go to fix there. Let that populate. Bit of a lag while it populates. And all I've done is I've added 144800 here for UK, but I just quickly put in these, these, you know, latitude and longitude. Okay. And you can choose east and west as well. Got my call sign in here, five, and then normally I put wide one, wide two, some text here. That'll do for now. And um, click OK, and then write to radio as usual. Write to radio. Now, um, you know, learn, learning code plugs is, there's no quick way to learn how to write a co-plug and send it to your radio. You just got to do it really. Um, I will show you a channel, but remember channels go into zones. Yeah, so if we just go to channel here, you'll get every single channel appear on screen. There they are. And a lot of these have been put in by Lionel. Um, so if I just change the top one so that it's my hotspot, so I'm going to change this number one one here, I'll double click it. I'll call it hotspot. Uh, and I'll put my hotspot frequency in 431.550. 431.550. And then I want 90. Oh my God. So look for around by the nines. This is a co plug and a half that Lionel's given us. Uh, anyway, find 91. They are in order, sort of. Um, God, blimey. 91, 94. 94, 
Oh god, 91 worldwide there it is there, wow. Um, anyway, um, and then colour code 1 and slot, I'm going to use slot 2. Click OK and then I'm going to do a zone up here. You have to put channels into zones, okay? So these are all zones that Lionel's got. You have a lot of zones. I'm going to put it in QTH, yeah. Uh, so I'm just going to put in channel 1 in there so you don't oh, a lot of this stuff wow anyway hotspot click ok and then if i go back to optional and go to power on and you can change the name here if you want power on display custom picture let's go i'm gonna go power on m0f zero zero xb H A M T E C H. They are. I want it to be a picture. So custom pictures selected. And I want it to boot up. See this bit here. Start. Yeah, QTH is fine, but I want it to boot up to my hotspot, which is at the bottom. And then our cheddar is fine at the bottom there. So you're deciding where it boots up. Now the picture, you have to upload it. So click OK, go program tool uh boot image oh i've already got one there you open the image so obviously you have to choose an image of the right size i've got a few here let's try superman Ooh, and then go right so everything we've just done hopefully we'll go there i'm gonna just to make sure i'm gonna write everything to the radio what should boot up with superman now with a bit of luck. Yep. Right to radio. Click OK. And then that Superman's there. Click OK. When it comes, I'm going to write everything. So now we should have accurate satellite mode now. And if you want the digital contacts, yeah, go to radio.id, which is here. I'll put the link in. Use the CSV there. Just put it in my in my downloads at the top there. Then all you do is go, oh, just writing it to the radio. Remember, this is the Eriton, but it's identical to the Anytone. Lionel's code plug is way better than the one I had because the one I had, it just didn't work. It, everything was in the wrong place. I was getting a band error. It was just a joke. But Lionel's code plug is working great. So there's the Anytone model which you cannot tell the difference. And it was, Lionel got his for £60. Um, mine was, because uh, I did get the £60 one, but uh, they ran out of stock, so I had to get the other one, which was nearer 75 It's still an absolute bargain. So look how lovely that screen looks. And it, take it from me, it looks better in in real life. So satellite-wise now, I see the way you've got the number there, because it could do with a, a better digital contact. So I'll show you that. So you go Program, Tool, um import then remember we just start, downloaded that file from radio id which is free and then digital contacts just mm -hmm. here on the left click it and then down in my downloads there it is there just downloaded now it will import automatically um and then once this it will say on here imported then you write it to radio then you're going to get all those call signs and then you you know and some people say oh i don't want to get a hotspot it's not real radio but that's complete madness now look here at my hotspot okay i'll just show you I'll drag it into view that's by dv mega right that's carl at dv mega that's the latest one he's done and it's actually got a call um a signal meter and all that, all that information and again looks a lot better in real life than what you're seeing. Um, a hotspot is basically like having your own repeater on your table. That's what it's like. It's like having your own repeater on, on your table. Okay? So, um, mad, madness, complete madness to not use a hotspot. So the contacts are now in my software. So now we just go program right to radio, but this time we have to click OK. 
and then we have to click here digital conduct make sure you untick it next time you send the software otherwise you'll be waiting for ages click ok and then it's going to be it looks quick at first but then there's about a 10 minute wait while it loads 250,000 contacts. This radio, and this is why I think it's such a fun, fantastic bargain, holds 500,000 contacts. It doesn't have Bluetooth or GPS. Uh, I've got a feeling they're gonna bring one out that does, but you don't, do you know what? I've got GPS and Bluetooth on my many of my radios, but I never use it because I put my fixed location in and um, I just don't use Bluetooth. Bluetooth, I'd rather just, listen with my ears or, or use a wired headset so that's going in nicely right okay well that's it everything's up and running you can see now we've got satellite if we just hit the menu go down massive thanks to m 6 lha for his co-plug go to satellite and it does this prediction it, it, it will put a list of all the satellites and then you just choose the one you want to follow and there it is massive thanks seven three all the best Please hit the like, subscribe, all the